morning everybody it's not a good morning but uh, once again we're gonna have to find a way to be creative and make this a good day the weather's even worse than it was yesterday it's April 13th 2021 this is uh, not characteristic for even Manitoba to have snow like this on April 13th where's the lane Am I in the lane? I don't know, I'm on the road. I'm on the road. Oh yeah, okay, there's the lane. Okay, good, I was in the lane, I think. On our way into work, we're gonna have some fun today. Can you just feel it? Can you feel it in your bones or is that just the chills? Look at this. We thought yesterday was a mess. They broke out the snow clearing equipment again. crazy. Is that Bill? Yep, that's Bill. He's a happy guy. I've never seen him in even a slightly bad mood. He's always in a good mood, always smiling. Look at this. Look at this. Are you guys looking? Look at this. What is this, January? Well, it's gonna be a good day. We're, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be a good day. Our parking spots back here were so soft yesterday that uh, two of us got stuck trying to park our trucks. So I got pulled out and I parked over here to the right just to stay on a bit harder ground. There you are, my pretty. Oh, look at her. She doesn't, she won't wanna get up. I didn't want to get out of bed either, but here we are. Got responsibilities. Got to go to work. And being parked out here, I wasn't expecting it to get worse today. The forecast, I looked at the forecast, and it, it's not that cold. It's only minus three Celsius outside, and that's all I looked at. I didn't know we were getting another foot of snow. But she's not plugged in all the way out here, so let's go see if she'll wake up. I'll just quickly check her oil and we'll jump in there and see what she has to say this beautiful morning. Good morning. Or should I just say morning? At least she had a nice blanket on her all night. I mean, it's a blanket of snow, but everyone deserves a blanket at night. Okay, here we go. Let her do her thing. Here we go. Oh, no problem. No problem. Oh, I should have never doubted her. I feel bad now. Of course she's gonna start. So the weather is better today. Uh, we don't have all that snow blowing around and it's not so windy. Uh, we just have about six inches of snow on the ground. So I'm looking for trailer 546. I have instructions to hook onto it and go get the paperwork. Find out where it's going. It's gonna be a roll tight. So I'm gonna, I see one over here, is that it? Nope, that's 412. be here somewhere. Well, got her all hooked up here. Ah, and this is what the load is. A whole bunch of circles. Cylinders for you technical people. A whole bunch of cylinders. I'm just gonna go down here, check to make sure all the securement is proper and up to my standards. Like this, this is not up to my standards. I should not be able to move that. Let's check this one. That's loose too. Wow, they're all loose. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go down here and uh, make sure they're all tied down correctly and then head on out. It turns out that load we hooked onto doesn't need to be delivered till later today. So in the meantime, to keep us busy, we're gonna deliver uh, one of our trucks to Volvo, to the dealership, probably need some work. And we're gonna go pick up one of our trucks at Kenworth and bring it back here, it's a little swap. 
bobtailing. This is the first uh, truck we're getting into here. It's one of the new Volvos. This thing runs so quiet. Okay. So, it's not my truck. Sleepers closed off, we're gonna respect that. That's somebody's home back there. We don't wanna go back there. That's all his personal stuff. This is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very similar to the old Volvos. They didn't change much. They just sort of, they made everything a little bit more boxy, in my opinion. But she runs really quiet. And I'm sure she's gonna be like, like Andy says about the T680s, like riding on a cloud on the highway. I prefer the T680s a lot, and I'm probably going to pick one of those up. I'm thinking, thinking that's what I'm going to pick up on the way back. Uh, so I'll show you the interior of that truck too once I get it. At least the front area. Like I said, we can't go back there. That's somebody's home. That's like sort of walking into somebody's house. It's weird. And he already closed the curtain, and that's sort of a clear signal. <laughs> we'll just stay up here. We're over here at Inland. Andy wasn't in his office, so we didn't get to say hi today. But if you're watching this, hey Andy. This is the truck we're uh, bringing back. It's very, uh, very similar, I would say, actually, to how the Volvo looks. But once you see it from this angle, you'll be like, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. That's different. Okay, let's warm her up. Let's, uh, let's take her home. While I'm waiting for it to warm up here, I may as well show you around a bit. The curtain's not closed on this one, but I'm not going to go back there. I'm going to stay in the seat here. Uh, Look at this. I got all the snow in there yet. I'm gonna wait for the engine to warm up before I move it anyway. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like the Kenworth way better than the Volvo. Way better, like not even a slight comparison. If I had to drive that last Volvo or this T680, I'm picking this one every single time. And that's not just because I'm a big Kenworth fan. No, 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 no. That's just because it's, <laughs> I, I like it way better. I like where this is better. I like that the gauge set is higher. I like the gauges better. I like the design better. Look at this, back here you got a, a little table and a mount for your TV that actually works for the bed. The other one, uh, the Volvos have a TV mount that's uh, up higher. And sometimes it's hard to see the TV from your bed with the top bunk down. The only thing I gotta give Volvo though is they got the sunroof right here. And I'm a big fan of that. A lot of people aren't, they don't like that at all. They cover it up anyway. But I like as much light in here as possible. So I, I would like to have a sunroof up there. But uh, I am a little biased. I like Kenworth. I'm a Kenworth guy through and through. Uh, but I'm not hating on Volvo. They are, they are very good trucks, okay? Volvo's a good truck. If you own a Volvo, if you're gonna buy a Volvo, go for it, great trucks. I just like the design personally better of the Kenworth, so uh, I just think the interiors are a little bit, a little bit classier, if that's, if that's okay to say. Back home in our tiny little cubicle. This truck heats a lot better than both of those trucks. You would think the newer trucks would have a better interior fan. But both of those trucks that I was in, they were cold. I couldn't get them to heat properly. Maybe I'm just spoiled with this truck. I mean, this truck will burn you if you leave the heat on for too long. It gets so hot in here. I like it. Okay, so we got that load of steel behind us now. I've tightened all the straps. And we're gonna bring it into the east side of Winnipeg there, get rid of it. Time is noon right now. So depending on how long it'll take, at least I don't gotta untarp the load, eh? I just gotta roll the roll the sides back. I totally get now why guys who drive Peterbilt's and Kenworths always say that, you know, you don't drive a real truck unless you're in a Peterbilt or a Kenworth with a hood. I don't have the longest hood, but it's it's a little bit more of the classic style, right? And uh, this definitely feels like more of a truck when I'm in it. Those other, like the both the Volvo and the T680, they, they felt like oversized minivans, you know? But they're very comfortable, very nice. I'm not saying anything bad against them. They just don't feel like a truck. 
I like this truck. I'd like to just take care of the rust that's on it so that it lasts longer, but you know, one problem at a time. Today I'm dealing with a snowstorm. Let's just try to get through today. Do something with that rust, at least cover it up so that it doesn't spread further or something. Do that later this summer. day but you just gotta take it easy and you know this is this is what we do like I was saying yesterday right just because it's snowing doesn't mean the economy can stop we gotta keep going people still need their stuff Let's see if we can get across the highway here luckily there's not much traffic most people I guess are staying off the roads which is nice for us because we don't have a choice we gotta keep the roads moving we gotta keep moving on the roads. The less cars that are on it with us, the better. I wish that there could be a world out there where there was highways just for trucks, trucks only. You know, there's so many interstates and expressways out there that are cars only, no trucks. Tons of roads everywhere, but there's no roads anywhere that are trucks only. Speaking of minivans, New minivans look like little spaceships. I like them. Wait, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> just because I I like the designs better than the old designs doesn't mean I'm gonna buy one, okay? We are not minivan people, we'll buy an SUV. Plus, I insist on having four-wheel drive on all our vehicles. Four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. Because of weather like this, because of weather exactly like this. We live in Canada, we live in Manitoba, to be more specifically. To be more specific, you need to be equipped to drive in this. And I think to be equipped, you need four wheel drive. put away all their snow plows already or something because it's 12 30 in the afternoon and they still haven't cleared any of the roads like the main arteries which is weird usually they'd have these cleared before people even go to work right i wonder if that's what happened i mean i know we have the equipment for this because all winter we deal with this here it's not so bad again I guess they just weren't expecting this much snow this time of year. I don't know, maybe they locked up the trucks already, turned them off, put away the keys, and forgot where they put the keys so they couldn't plow the roads. So I don't know. It's Winnipeg, anything's possible. Nothing has to make sense. Here again, my lane is going to get a little narrower. Check 
tucked in and uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a wait. They got quite a few trucks in front of me here yet. Uh, the time is now 20 to one. They said it might. They said they'll get me in as soon as they could. They said it might be as late as three o'clock. But I have a feeling it's not gonna be that long because there's just a few trucks in front of me and I think they're gonna sneak me in there a little sooner. I'm not too sure though. Not too sure, but either way, it's gotta be delivered, right? It's really not getting any better. <laughs> I have an empty trailer behind me now though. Uh, we got unloaded pretty quickly there. And it was all indoors, which was nice. Usually when you unload steel like that, it's it's indoors. It makes it a lot easier and faster. Plus I don't have tarps. Okay, so has it been snowing where you're at too? Or are we just the lucky ones here in Manitoba? Pretty sure Saskatchewan got snow. Usually these weather systems start in Alberta. Oh boy, I hope they can make it up this hill. Yikes. That's slippery. So crazy. And here I was thinking we could get our camper out getting it all ready for summer. I was working outside in a t-shirt. So this steel that I delivered was 24,000 pounds. It actually wasn't steel, it was aluminum. Or as you people on the other side of the the Atlantic call it, aluminium. Alumin I, think you're, I think you're adding an I where there isn't one. Al aluminium. I don't think that E is there, the aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminum. Anyway, this aluminum came from Buckhannon, West Virginia. All the way up here to Winterpeg. Living up to our name today, aren't we? Oh, yes. You know, even just driving those, uh, those two other trucks this morning, the Volvo and the Kenworth. Even just those two trucks, I already missed the pipes on these on this truck. Whoa, 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 whoa! Caught you a little close there. It was okay though. It was okay. People seem to get braver in the winter time or on bad roads. Have you guys noticed this as well? It seems like whenever the, the weather is terrible, people's driving ability gets worse. There's a correlation there, I know it. Somewhere, somewhere there's a scientist who's doing a study right now. As soon as it snows, it's like people will drive all nice and casual when it's a nice sunny day. As soon as it's weather like this, a big blizzard, they're all just pedal to the metal. Everyone's going too slow, everyone get out of the way. And then everybody ends up in the ditch. Or just very angry at each other. <laughs> and give her. So we have probably about, I'd say three quarter to a full mile visibility. That's about it. Yeah, maybe a mile. Other than that, we're just living in the middle of a snow globe. How about this to end the day? The snow has gotten worse, and, and that's not the best part. <laughs> oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. In our parking spot. You could say I should have known because it was soft yesterday, but I thought it would have packed itself down a little bit through the day today already and I figured I'd give it a shot. 
rolled in just fine. I'm like, okay, good. Well, we're good to go. Tried to back out. Eh, eh. So <laughs> I'll go talk to them. We might pull it out now, or we may just wait till the morning and pull it out in the morning because I'm in my parking spot. So I'm out of the way. I'll probably just pull it out first thing tomorrow morning. We'll see. <laughs> It'll give us something to do first thing in the morning, right? Hopefully it won't be snowing like crazy then. At least the pickup will go through anything, right? <laughs> oh man, take a look at this. I forgot something in the truck anyway. See, I didn't realize how big that drift was. And I think I'm mostly just hung up on that drift. Now yeah, we'll get it out in the morning. I mean, I could just pull it out with the pickup too, but I need somebody in the truck to hit the brakes. For when I pull it back, I don't want the truck, the semi truck, to keep rolling back into my pickup truck. That's all I need. I'll just go talk to the yard guys, let them know what's going on, that I'm going to be uh, needing some assistance in the morning. Unless they want to do it now. I mean, oh look, here he comes right now. I'll ask him now. This is Bill. <laughs> hey. hey sir. Got my truck stuck again. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I was dumb enough to go right where everyone else got stuck yesterday. I thought it would be I'm like, ah, oh, today will be all right. Be good, that eh? was a bad idea. I'm well, stuck. I don't, we can either do it today or tomorrow morning. morning. Yeah. Well, what time are you here? Uh, 7 a.m. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do it in the morning. We already had him pull up uh, Rogers from that yard. Oh, good. At least I'm not the only one. Oh, he sunk it right to the frame. Oh, nice. Well, I'm out of the way, and I plugged it in just in case it gets cold tonight. Sure. So. Uh. Okay. We'll figure it out tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, good Sounds good. Yeah, you too. Okay. See ya. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. He is such a great guy. You know, it makes the workplace a really enjoyable place when there's enjoyable people to be around, you know? It's one thing I really like about Keystone here. Everyone here makes it a fun place. Well, this is the ride home today. And I don't know why we're all stopping here exactly, but traffic was moving along. These poor tow truck drivers sitting here, yikes. Well, maybe I shouldn't say poor, <laughs> poor them. They, they got a busy day, they're making money today. For some reason we're stopped and I'm hoping traffic coming up behind us is gonna see this absolutely nuts I know there's a plow in front of us and I think there's another accident in front of us here just now and I don't think the plow can get around them maybe one car in the ditch off to my right there. Wasn't too far in. There was another car here on the shoulder, but he's gone now. Huh. Oh, it's another tow truck. Oh, I see. Probably just finished pulling someone else out. Maybe that's why we were all stopped. They need police there warning like people coming up there because you know we were going a good speed here we could slow down but there's probably a whole bunch of people barreling down the highway here like nothing's gonna happen i think it'd be a good idea to have an rcmp officer out here just making sure uh no accidents happen hold on there mr tow truck hold on I've seen, I think, about four vehicles. If I can remember it, four vehicles in the ditch. 
just on my way home from work. I think this is worse than any snowstorm we had in actual winter. You see, what gets people is there's these sections of road here that are doing just fine, right? It's just wet pavement. We can speed right up to the speed limit if we want to. But suddenly, you get into a big section of road where it's all just snow and slush. And people don't realize that's coming. And then they hit it. And their car goes crazy and accidents happen. Everybody's in a hurry, right? Not as bad as in the morning though. I find that in the morning it's a lot worse. People are way more aggressive and grumpy on the road in the morning. However, in the afternoon they might be in a little bit of a rush to get home, but they're not as aggressive. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. I don't think you know what's out there. I've been out there all day, man. You're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, Chevy. Or maybe you will? Whoa. I saw the comments in yesterday's video. You guys all laughing. Yeah, put out the patio furniture and it snows. Look at this. Look how much snow is on there. Unreal. Unreal. I mean, it's very real. I don't mean unreal in the in that sense. It's very real, but unreal. Look at this. <sighs> Makes me sad. Ah, whatever. It's part of living out here, I guess.